Rangers. Well, guys, Jamie makes his return, first of all. The champ is back. Back in the hot seat. Sean, you up. Back in your box. Oh my <laughs> god, shots fired right away, <laughs> man. Jamie's a jealous, jealous guy. Yeah, that's what you need to know. Maybe if you subscribe to the Patreon, you see behind the scenes, you see what this fucking guy is really like. He comes on the YouTube, he's like, oh, this and this. <laughs> Mate, see what these cameras are off? This guy, man. I'm you ever a, seen the movie The Comedies? Like the main character in it. I mean, I feel like horrible. But you're back, mate. How's it feel? It's good, mate. It's good to be back in, back up. Back in the hot seat. And obviously, and we aren't in the G4 studio today. We never are for the deep frieds. Um, if you've been here before, you'll know about that. But hey, we need to thank G4 for letting us use the studio. It's a magnificent, magnificent arena to it perform is. some verbal jousts in, I would say. I like that bit of language. I, I just like talking that sometimes, baby boy. <laughs> So, uh, I thanks to G4, and look, if you want to get in touch with him, maybe you've had a wee bump in your car, maybe you've had a wee accident, you've uh, you've wet the bed, mm-hmm. Can, did, they, did they cover that? Um, if your bed was in your motor and you were driving at the time, maybe. Aye, so you might want to actually start living in your motor, just in case a crash does happen, probably the best shout. But I, any any business like that, you get in touch. You get in touch with the guys at G4 and they're going to sort you out. They will. They will. But hey, let's get to business, people. Deep fried on YouTube, mate. I know. Unfamiliar grounds here. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. I know. We've been, um, we've been treating the folks over at the Patreon. Aye, the, the Patreon folks have had a deep fried that's no been on YouTube, obviously. So... If I and if you want to get involved with the Patreon, head over www.patreon.com forward slash Riley's Gaff and you'll get an extra episode of Deep Fried every month. Aye. And more stuff. And some other stuff. Aye. And just some beautiful little jewels. Some as I said, you can see the real Jimmy Kelly on Patreon. Yeah, he he does let his hair down. He does let it down. <laughs> um who, who would believe it, honestly? But Yes, troops, we're back in, and look, we've got a fantastic episode to bring today. We've been planning this for a very long time. Um, it's been pushed back, pushed back, but now we're here, ready to fucking do it. But before everything starts, Jamie, I want to say a big, massive congratulations to friend of the show, one of the, the most viewed episodes we've ever had, Lee S., Lee Sutherland, who... Received some news today, people. Now, let's watch the video and find out the news, because it is crazy, crazy news. Good morning, everyone. Um, I've got really, really good news for you, that I have passed my law degree. I have passed my law degree. Um, Now, I am a firstly fully qualified lawyer, and I am so over the moon, folk. I am so buzzing that I am a fully qualified lawyer now, folk. My emails just came in, um, the email the certificate and all that, proved by the email that I am a fully qualified lawyer now. So I am so over the moon, folk, honestly. Um, this has really made my day. Um, so there we go. So I knew I was going to pass. And wish me luck, everyone. Um, right. Thank you for all your support and all that, through this talk and all that as well. Um, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well, I you, man. Please, Sutherland, Sutherland! Look, man, so uh, on that, we would like to announce that if you do have a problem with anything we're saying on the podcast, you've maybe got an issue with maybe some of the language that Jamie Kelly likes to use, very derogatory. <sighs> God, I don't even know how to explain it. D- downright disgusting. Vile, vile language that Jamie Kelly comes up with sometimes on this podcast. Any complaints will now have to be directed towards the podcast lawyer, Lee Sutherland. Fucking come at us then. If you want to, you know, if you want to have any funny business with us, you're going to need to go through Big Lee. Both barrels, give us it. Fully qualified, so shout out to Big Lee, who, let's hope, I hope, what, what, what case do you think would be good for Lee to start off on? I think he needs to like, dig up some of the oldies, I think he needs to find who Jack the Ripper was. You I think, think so? could die. Oh no wait, that's like that's not the job of a lawyer, is it? <laughs> what am I talking about? It's a detective or something. <laughs> Do you know when you were saying that? I was like, I feel wasn't thinking about that. I was like, he could have settled, but he could settle uh, some no, of the. No, do old... you mean like maybe he could defend Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Why was I thinking he was so, like a... Jamie? What Jamie is basically saying, folks, is Jamie is all for 
the murdering of young girls, basically. Free up my guy, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look, if there's one guy that could get Jack the Ripper free of the charges, it's the common law. And probably now further, further ah, if he's got the law degree, full. it's, um, you know, I, I, I would hope that Lee would honestly start, I think he needs to start where he belongs, road traffic incidents. Mm-hmm. I think there's not a man on the planet that probably knows the laws of the road better than that man. It's but only, uh, in Scotland, of course. Mm-hmm. No, I, mm, I don't know. I think, I think a... if he turned his hand to any any rules of the road, highway codes and that, mate, I think he would... There is one thing I'll say about Lee Sutherland, bro. <laughs> that man was born with the law pumping through his veins. Coasting through the veins, bro. Pumping through the veins and, you know, whether he's, you know, breaking it, mm-hmm. enforcing it. Talking about it. Defending people... From it, he's you a know, ve- he's a very intelligent man. No, one of the best man, and shout out to Big Big Lee, Big Lebo, on the degree. But hi troops, I mean we're back in, man, and it's been a long time. It's been a long time, but we've got a belter to bring you today. Mm-hmm. Do you think we should just go right into it? If you want, mate, aye. Do um, you want to tell the troops what's happening, or I'll tell them. I'll tell you. Listen up. So today we're going to be looking at the small matter of you know. The history of human beings, mate. Which, we've done a couple of topics on here. Spoke about a couple of fucking, the oldest puddle in the world, remember? We looked at that. Where was that? Russia? Russia, 25 year old puddle. Oldest, oldest puddle in the world, man. What was the website? Oh, uh, sad and lonely. Why don't, why don't you have a wee scroll on that, right? And just see if you can find it in in Bizarre. Are you you trying me? I was like, the best mullets ever. The uh, 25 best mullets in Australia. (laughs) (laughs) Are you trying to like rekindle the magic? Is this like a a divorce that's like, it's gone bad? And you're like, oh, remember when we used to do that? (laughs) Mind we used to go on a date to La Vita? Mate, it's been a long time. How to cope with feeling lonely and depressed, NHS and all that. It's called sad and and useless, maybe. Sad and useless, that's what it's called. Why don't you type in the oldest puddle in the world, then try and find it for you? It's called sad and useless. But I... So this, you're, you're rekindling the, the I'm joy. I'm rekindling it. I just want Joe to have a wee browser. there. But troops, today we are going to be covering, as I said, the history of humans. So we're going to be looking at, you know, one time there wasn't any, and then there was. And then we ended up like this. Mm-hmm. In spacesuits and that. Doing all this shit. So how do we end up here? How do we end up here? And where are we going for here? I'm going to tell you. As well, team. So let's, I'll, should I take the floor? You take the floor, mate. What you got there, Joe, before we take the floor? So circle beard is a thing now. Oh, God. What? Oh, I like it, actually. Right, so can you turn the brightness up on that, Joe? Right. <sighs> Remember the monkey rail beard? No. That's hard. That one is cool, though. That guy's got a menacing look about him, though, hasn't he? I don't know what he or not. What, it would look even better with knee, moustache, or goatee. Goatee, hang on. Just a big suckle. Oh, there, that guy. Oh, oh my God, me. Go, man. <laughs> <gasps> no. He's even got suckle features. Oh, look, hey, no, I need to talk about this guy for a second right here, man, because. It looks like he's in a restaurant or something, which I'm really hoping. I don't know what's going on here. But Imagine he served your food. Like, it, he's like, hi. Oh, man, you could not ignore that. It's, got, it's not unhygienic or anything, but... <sighs> I, I wouldn't it's not great, though, is he, it? He's got, like, you've got a, a bit of a sharp fringe. Think so, but no, no I, sharp fringe. Like but that. I have heard behind it. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is the real. That is probably the only difference between me and this guy. The, want, the guy here. Do you want to know what? Let's just check something. No, like, you're the same as me. Like, I don't think my beard hair matches up with my hair hair. Do you think it, yours could if you grew your beard long enough? With what, the like, same? look all like one hair? Grew his beard long enough for the Aye. Aye, no, I don't think my beard hair can, like, stone up to the it's thickness of my hair. Oh, look at that it's thin one, mate. It's a platypus, kind of give me, aye, give me, the, give me the hair band. Oh, mate. Oh lord. Mate, it, see be fair, it's like you're framing your face. It's like you're saying this is where it happens, this is where the good stuff's at. It is very like you know what? Like that would suit somebody who had a a, a beltery a face, mate. Right, like a pure. See if you had a peachy a fucking face on you, man. 
because it's very like <laughs> it's like looking at a dartboard like you're automatically drawn to the middle Aye, so like you're, no, you're no caring about all oh, big stupid hair like whatever how else. many I'm worried that guy's been in it about five times that cunt man mate that's the guy that wrote that he's the ambassador Aye, Aye. he's the one that, he's the journalist for this Aye. Aye. just all pictures of him he's editing everybody's pictures Aye. <laughs> mate see but... before we go into uh, the, the, the history of humankind Aye, can yeah. I ask you something mm-hmm. so there's you, you're into something that I'm not into and I want to know like your reasons for being like this right so see when I take a shower mm-hmm. I'm uh, vertical St- mm-hmm. I'm storing up tall as can be washing myself and stuff Aye. do you want to tell Joseph and the troops what, what you're like in a shower no, this is, I think you've got a big, big, I think there's been a grave misunderstanding in this room because the thing is, mate, ah, okay, troops, what Jamie's talking about is when I'm in a shower, I like to just, instead of like stoning up, think about it, you're stoning up all the time, ain't you? Mm-hmm. Working it. Mm-hmm. Really, like, you're stoning up basically most of the time. Mm-hmm. When I get in the shower and I feel that heat, I feel that the passionate warm water running down the pores of my skin I feel like I could take a fucking seat right now bro Aye. and sometimes I will but let me specify right this, you just need to know this if you suddenly if you don't know about the sit down shower I'm going to kind of explain the kind of rules and regulations basically if you're going for a sit down shower it, you need to be in a bath right see if you just go to shower like an individual shower then a bath don't even bother that's, that, that's not what I'm talking about mm-hmm. right you need to be you need to have the shower and a bath. Mm-hmm. What I will then say is the best thing, I mean, ah, Jamie, I'm a busy guy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get busy from time to time, right? See, I've got some things to do. I've got blah, blah, blah. blah. Emails. Here's, see, I've got emails to read. I've got people to talk to, yeah? This is the thing. I like to sit. So the shower sits at one end of the bath. Right. I like to sit legs no, f- like feet under the shower. Right. Out, and I'm out it. Like I'm lying in the bath. So like it's that. just landing on so your it's knees. Ja- it's, it's landing from the waist down, basically. Like uh, I would say that's the, the radius so of you're, what's you're, getting, you're getting like moist. This. Your legs are straight like that, and the shower's landing about there. Um, I am saying I'm getting sprayed knee, knee down. But like, but, so why? Because I tell you this, right? So I, I, I like to chill the fuck out, guys, right? Um. I don't know if you've seen that, right? Sometimes I like to ch- just chill out. You're just random like that. I'll just be like that. And basically, mate, I like to like, lie down and just relax. But see if, like, if you're lying under the shower and the water's hitting you, it gets a bit intense after a while, mate. Mm. Like, it, it, like, there's only so so wet I need to be in the shower. You know what I mean? Because it's falling I such a distance and all. That's like, I, I've heard, like, a few old people have died with that, mate. Aye, aye. Just drowning and in like that. inverts their skull. And, and that, <laughs> the water just caves their skull, bro. <laughs> and they, they get found in the bath, like, like, like a, a like a fish bowl. Mm-hmm. For a water, but mm-hmm. that's the, the skull. That's the skull. Aye. But uh, what I'm saying is, it's nice, right? What you need to do is just kick back, go on your phone, watch a wee fucking, watch a tear. You watch the Love Island, catch it up in the shower. It's the most relaxing thing ever. But I don't even count what you're doing as being in the shower. Like, because no, no, it's no, only your no, legs. No, 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 no. Let me clarify. I don't do it. So I'll do that for a while, then I'll go up and get washed in it. You, do you stand up to get washed? Aye. I've done what you're saying. I don't just lie down the full shower and never get up. I, I thought you did like this and all that, like, s- scoot him up all the way. Oh, I'm not an idiot, bro. It's a rest period. But why not just, like, jump in the shower, jump out the shower, sit in your bed? Nah, man, it's... it's the wa- Mate, I love a shower. I, a shower's my... my it, happy place. I'm a happy place, my... My haven. Your Nirvana. My Nirvana, bro. Your Shangri-La. And sometimes I just don't want to leave that quickly. Sometimes Aye. I want to chill out. But, hey, that's, that's you life. You need to brush your teeth in the shower. That's that. Ah, you were talking to me. I've never done that. Aye, brush your teeth MD, in the shower. Disney, brush your teeth in the shower. Push, brush your teeth. I've never, wash. I don't think I've ever done that. You can, it's like you're just wasting time, man. Do it, man. No, because look, so see. The water just zogging down the same place. I've no, never thought of this. It's three, to, three, like, so how long do you brush your teeth? Three minutes? 
Seems a bit long, bro. Is it? I three, thought it was five. You get time to get mouth Five out. minutes? I thought. Oh, well, what are you talking about three like, minute you go open the bathroom door or are you talking about five <laughs> no, minutes? No, that, like three minutes of brushing your teeth, I thought it was like. That's what I, I know, I had two, two, three minutes, I would say. Two, right. three minutes. Right, so. I don't think it's three three minutes, minutes, like, that's heavy. Like, you need to get a mouth wash, spit, mouth wash in your feet. No, that, no, it's all part of it. I'm still talking about it. How long does it take for you to do a push? A minute? Wait, what? In the morning. Right, I, I don't. These are things that, like, I think time warps a bit because right. it's just on my time. Right. So say I don't you're, know, like, you're five minutes to, time. You're ten minutes to have a shower, brush your teeth and do a piss. Mm-hmm. Right? You can do all that in three minutes in the shower. Obviously that's, you're pissing the shower. That's, that's what I'm saying. So you go in brushing your teeth. Uh, you're weirder. I think you're weirder if, if you, like... No, but this Unless is you're in, like, somebody's house or something. No, but I'm, aye, aye, I'm aye, saying but I'm saying you can take the face of his house, bro. You can, okay. you can half your shower time, you can half your bathroom time by just doing it all at once. What's the hurry? What no? I I don't date when I've got work at then I'm I, come on, I'm professional, I need to get in and out, mate. But aye. if I'm oh say I come home after a long day at work, bro. <laughs> and I see that shower and that bath sitting there, bro. You no, better I was, no, I was just meaning brushing your teeth in the shower, saves you time. That's good. And passion. No, no, I'm agreeing with that. I'm gone with it. I'm go- that's what that's what I'm saying. I think living wrong, bro. It's quicker as well. You don't need to set it up. See if you just go right there. You're like, I'm it's already wet now. Oh, do you do you have your head with a bush and we show me? I set my bit. Oh, but you don't. You don't. That's where you keep it. That's pretty. That's insane. That is insane, it's insane, bro. Like, so see, you tell me, do you do you go for a shower no, after your dinner to brush your teeth? Is it that bit? No, but I'm saying. So do you know brush your teeth unless you're showering? Like see if I you get a to shower brush your teeth like in No, every time I'm in the shower and I've, I've no brushed my teeth, I'll brush my teeth in the shower. Aye. See, Aye. I, I think I brush my teeth too much. How do you think you if brush? I, if I date outside, I, I don't only date there, I date outside it as well. What, I would, say is, what I would say is, maybe you and Danny need to live up with the charade of doing it outside. I, I think the shower is a, 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 a mark treat. of efficiency. It's a treat. So it is a treat. Well, you just date that. It means nothing. That means you're in the shower. You're just dating. Ah, yeah, but it's where do you, where do you keep the toothpaste? Where do you keep the toothpaste? He keeps the toothpaste in the shower room. I'm actually blown away by this. I never do that. I'll wet the toothbrush in the sink, put the toothpaste on, jump in the shower, do that, all keys and that, all at the same time, and then come out, spit it out and that. How late that. do you wake up, bro? Oh, like, literally two minutes I've run out. You leave me anywhere. <laughs> you sound like no, me. You need to chill out a bit. You need to give yourself a bit of time, man. The bath shower are the best, man. You feel strolling about now, then. <laughs> <laughs> strolling a bit. Brush your teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush my teeth in the shower tomorrow in respect of the jewel. And as well. I, the, this is what I was gonna say. I think. If you're in the shower and you need a piss, you need to just piss. Like, you're weirder if you get out to do a piss. Aye. Like, what, what, what are you so scared of? No, I don't piss pool, in a pool. What about a pool? What are you doing? Depends what kind no. of pool. I've, I've told you the story about me um, grabbing the shit in the pool, haven't I? No. Have I not told you this? No. Mate, so I feel like I have, but I'll tell it again, right? So before we talk about the history of human beings, um, <laughs> this, is history of, this is about a history of me, so. I suppose it's relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, one year, I was um, I was in on holiday with like my family and in Spain somewhere, and I remember we were staying there, maybe a wee two week holiday, whatever it was, and it, it was like getting to this point. It was like brilliant weather. The sun's kind of setting. I'm in the pool. I was just a young a young man, young whippersnapper. I just just ready to just get out of the world, you know, and. I think it was I, the sun was setting. I was like swimming about the pool, and I remember like there was like all kids like sort of my age in the pool, like quite young, like the like the wee decades, like, like the you're maybe like ten or eleven, I yeah. something like that, like I <laughs> I that age, the <laughs> age, exactly, mate. So you know there's a bit of shenanigans going blah 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 right and I'm swimming I just I'm just swimming and mind my own business take soaking in your lens do my lens I get my lens in um, so I'm swimming and I fucking I'm like oh, this is legendary man there's a fucking somebody's put a like fake shit in the pool like for a laugh right so I'm like oh my god this is am- I like, uh-huh. like this is amazing like somebody's like I thought they must have got it for a shop 
or something. I don't know. I was like, this is so funny. Careful, see, because I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking like everything's a joke. You know what I mean? So I like, you I see it right, and I'm like. Oh, I'm gonna like grab this and like put, go and put it somewhere. And I done that, mate. Put my horn up through the water, grabbed it, and it was a real shite. Did you squeeze and it? it into no, like oh. I didn't. I didn't hold. I, I like it was still. It must have been fresh. It was still solid enough to just like. Was it slimy? No, mate. It was very firm. But I remember picking it up, and it was in the, And I was like, oh, like, but the texture. As soon as I picked it up my horn, it was like squidgy, mate. It was squidgy. No, I don't think. I, I'm not thinking about it crumbling. I'm thinking about it the way you're saying. I, I, like, mate, you're I, I held it and I, I just like put it back, and then I remember like. Being pure, fuck! I just remember swimming at the pool, and I went back to my mom and dad. I went back to my mom and dad, and I was like, "There's a, there's a poo in that pool, man." And they were like, "What are you talking about?" And I was like, eh, "I didn't, I didn't tell them. I picked it up. I was like, I just seen it. Like, Do you know why that? Like, I know that's so true, no? Because you said there's a poo in that pool, man. Aye. Like you've remembered saying the exact words. Aye, aye, aye. Because you've aye, aye, not done air a shite. I was like, that pool. No, I remember being like, "There's a poo in that pool," but I didn't say like. I just picked a poo up in that <laughs> pool, but and then the whole pool it like, get empty. They had to come and clear Aye. it, and I was like, "Is this real? Like, Did I really pick what, that what, up?" Like the socks and monsters. Inc. But I had no idea why I thought it was fake. I had no idea. There was not one thing in my head that was like, "Oh, that could be real." Because I'm like, I've never seen a shit in a pool. Who shits in a pool? You know what I mean? So I'm like, mad is it that it's more realistic to have a fake shit? Because in, in pool? films and all that, it's always like kid on Aye. at the end. You're like, uh... imagine it was just that real, that good a fake that it felt like a shit and everything. Smelt and all that <laughs> came out a person or no? Oh, I think you might think oh. about it, bro. Uh, but hang me, I was in the hospital the other day, obviously, Evan. Oh. And uh, know how all this? Now we, we we talk about sometimes like uh, I have two wounds here, got one down here and all. Get stabbed. No, I can't. Just an operation. But now we always talk about like how we always feel like it's we're in we're on a podcast or like you're you're always just like. You say shit that you're like, why like did I even one, say that? I was saying about me and JD, like Aye. on like five. Aye, like, so Aye. like you were saying about the keypad, like rate for zero to five, and you're like, five. Aye, Expecting Aye. cunts to laugh. I like, just to know that I'm like hidden on, but Aye. then you realise. why would they? Do you realise they? They they? that they don't have a clue who you are and you've just said a pure weird thing? <laughs> so <laughs> I had to me the other day, the doctor's at like uh, filling out a form and he's going, you get COVID, no, you get this, you get that, you get angina and all that. all shit gets to the end, he says, oh, if you get syphilis, I'm like, no, he's like, ah, right, uh, I don't, I've got that, fucking monkeypox, like that. And he was like, no, like, as if I was like, oh, what's that call again? I've, my doctor said I've got this thing. But see, if you're serious, aye, like, aye, it's a joke. But aye, aye, I, I, I would know it's a joke. Aye, and the doctor was like, what? And I was like, I've got a monkeypox, and I, and I just looked at him, and he was like, ah, that's not even funny. And just like, I'm like, I'm I was like, why did I say that? Why did yeah, I? Yeah, I monkeypox, yeah. <laughs> monkeypox, guys. Me, I, it's like. That is definitely, there is a place to be like that, and there is no, you know what I mean? Aye, the A and E. The A and E, where like, maybe people have been in there with it. Aye, it's I like don't... you go and go that COVID. <laughs> no, they're like, um, so people funny. are dying in Can here. Can you take a PCR? Uh, <laughs> go to that doing? COVID. <laughs> Mate, I remember, like, I remember being on, I remember being on like trains and that when it was really bad and like cunts would kid on. Do you remember cunts were like kid on to start coughing and all that? Aye. That was like, it's, it's insane. Oh, bro. That's uh, legend. <laughs> but should, mate, should we should we start talking about humans, man? Um, aye, aye. I'd love to hear about humans. Here we go, Trip. So, we are human beings. Mm-hmm. Specifically, Homo sapiens. So every person alive today listening to or watching this podcast is a Homo sapien. Did you know that? Would you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> did you did you did you know that you? Good on them. Insane, by the way. Good on them. Good on them, really. Look, twat twat talk about what we want, man. Well done, man. I'm all about that, all that stuff, man. <laughs> right, no, but troops in all seriousness. So a Homo sapien is a species of human which around seventy thousand years ago emerged as the dominant species of human on the planet after the cognitive revolution. Love that. What is the cognitive revolution? I mean, you tell me I'm that. pretty sure we'll find out. <laughs> uh, so, the name Homo sapien can be broken into two parts. The word Homo is our genus. So, a genus is a group of animals which evolved from a common ancestor. Right. And then the second part of the word sapien means. Do you know what it means? Can I try and guess now? You can guess. What do you think sapien means? 
Up to there with skull. Flesh. Wise. Wise? Ooh. Because we fucking done it, didn't we? We fucking beat everybody, mate. Mm-hmm. That is the name for us, mate. That's the wise. The top, the top dogs. The wise men. So, um, we, along with other species of human, belong to the genus Homo. So, and our species name is Sapien, which means wise. But at one point, we were not the only species walking on Earth. Oh. No, I'd like, this is mad because <clears throat> I knew this stuff. But it's like, you, did, you don't really think about it that much, I feel like. Because we've been the only species that we've ever, ever seen, you kind of forget that there was other humans, mm-hmm. I feel like. Like Neanderthal and Aye. stuff. Aye. It's like you forget that that was a real thing. It feels like a fictional thing. I feel like it feels like or a mad like old a, tale or something. Or an, like another, aye, aye, like a mad troll. Like, aye. A, like mad fictional characters. Aye, but... but so it's crazy we were we are not the only species of human that walked this earth so different human species roamed around the earth way before homo sapiens were even a tingle in all god's boz um there have been around 15 species of human discovered to this date with discoveries still being made in recent times however until the cognitive revolution of homo sapiens we were largely insignificant animals on the planet <laughs> burn bro well we, we were just insignificant we never had like an like you look at the planet the new right it's like oz it's mm. like everything buildings it's that's we have like ruled this planet now but back then it was like we didn't have an impact on the we surroundings were, we and were just like, like we were just like nobody's we, we were um we were shit mate just daft animals just dafties we capybaras not i mean naked and everything man. <laughs> but I so until the cognitive revolution we were, we were quite insignificant. By the way, most of, I'm just going to say most of the research for this is from a book called Sapiens, which is unbelievable. Good so book. we are basically covering kind of the first four chapters of that or whatever. So if you want to hear this much better put, go buy Sapiens and listen to it like audio book or whatever. Yuval Noah Harari. Yes. What a guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, we love him, don't we? Mate, he's a legend. We are fanboys. Mad Yuval. Mad Yuval. But, so, I we had a relatively small impact on our surroundings where we're normally just hunting small game with, like, stamina. So, like, our ability, like, we weren't fast, but we could run for ages because <laughs> that's just how we hunted. Endurance, mate, endu- endurance, adaptable. That's what humans are. So we'd normally just hunt small game and forage for food. So, like, trees and aye. berries. Aye. And things gatherer, like, kind of aye, society. Aye, aye. aye. Um, so we were nowhere near the top of the food chain. So who came before the bull sapiens but Jamie? Was it Homo erection? Homo erectus, well done, Jamie boy. So um, this, so these, I didn't realise a lot of things about this. That these basically, these cunts are like, these are the, the boys, mate. Are they? Homo erectus. Listen, what? like, we would know be who we are, the new without Homo erectus, right? So a massively important species in the human story is the Homo erectus. Homo erectus populated Africa, Asia, and Europe and were the first human beings to develop the ability to walk upright. Beautiful. So that meant that, like, that is massive because obviously every sort of human that came before, well, like, part human, part kind of ape, whatever, Mm -hmm. that came before that was walking on all fours still. So when they developed that ability, it was like they could fucking, they could, like, no carry things while running they nice. could throw stones while they were running at like animals and like it opened up so much stuff um and it earned them the nickname the upright man so they are they are the ogs mate they Aye. they paved the way so um it, it also allowed us to run longer distances that's how we could like outrun animals because they like you think of the effort like you try run about in all fours now Damn it. You want me to? <laughs> Aye, it's like, it's, it's, I know, I know what you mean. It's, it's brutal, mate. So, so there's like mad advancements in like human history that uh, <clears throat> that pure change, like everything, like opposable thumbs and that. That was even before that. That was like when we were fucking coming out the water and all that. Know what I mean, Aye, like yeah, there's I... mad shit that like I think there was one like for when even before that as well, like the first like apes started having like forward facing eyes instead Aye. of like on the side and such it's shit. It's weird. You just learn that like. All these things have just happened there such a long period of time where we've just evolved into 
what we needed to be. Mm -hmm. It's it's insane, mate. So, but these were the first guys that could run upright, which is crazy. Um, they were also the first species to live in small, familiar groups of people. So these were basically like similar to like hunter gatherers. Do you know what I mean? Like small groups of people that were like intimate they knew each other they had they had bonds and stuff um and this also like being in these small groups and getting to know everybody also made them the first humans that actually cared for like sick members of their, uh, their group yeah, because yeah. all the humans before that hadn't even like like if you're weak they just left you mate uh, fucking yeah. rats mate basically killed you they just left you so they were the first to like even fucking help other humans Aye. like when they were sick like be feel empathy feel like i like developing that and it's it's crazy and it's obviously that's why i think like there must be something in our nature somewhere that's like see like company and people that you love and like that is such an essential thing mm -hmm. for humans and it, it's obviously it's weird how like they developed that and it's obviously just feel like they are them advancing and them so developing like emotions for each other and it's it's insane man do you know i think there's like something even i don't know if it like before them or maybe like apes have like evolved to have that as well but like uh, that's how i think it's like apes and there's no a lot of other animals that pure care for their young like Aye. do you know how like we i think we've spoken about it before that like, when a giraffe gives buff it just like kicks it out the way and just like what runs away from it and then just leaves away and he just Mate, deal with do, it do you know what's interesting though right if you think about it right see other animals right so like other animals come out the womb walking and shit mm -hmm. so like see human beings we are like incredibly weak when we're born Aye. compared to other animals like we can't do anything when we're born really like you can't I thought you're so sweet I well, we are absolutely you ever, here, you ever seen a baby no much use are they really you ever seen a baby throwing a shot putt Sad. Never sad seen, I've never seen a baby day much apart from just moaning, mate. But <laughs> that's uh, that's like we've evolved to. I think I've read something like we evolved to. We started having pure premature buffs. Like we gestate a lot less than everyone else. So it's right. like we are still like we can move out kneecaps and that, mate. Aye. All the bones are near together. There's mad Aye. soft bits of your skull and mm -hmm. that. Like we should be in a womb at that point. You know what I mean? Aye. Still like. But for some reason we don't anymore. I no, it's just uh, stupid. It is size, head size. Oh, it, I, I get the I get the whim, You're right, mate. Aye. As well, Homo erectus endured many changes in climate and habitat, but managed to survive for an incredible amount of time. Mate. Aye. Did you read time how long there? No, no, right, no. So I, I want you. No, so nice. first of all, right, I want you to use <laughs> to tell me how long you think we've been about for sapiens. Fifty thousand years. No, what? No, what am I thought about? I'm going to say millions. Six million years, I'm saying. What, sapiens? I'm going to say 300 million. Um, what are you saying? Six million. 200 to 300,000 years. That's fuck all, man. That's it. So put this in comparison to Homo erectus, mate. Homo erectus survived for 2.5 million years. Fuck's sake. So they are, by a mile, the most successful human species ever. Ten because times. They, we are never gonna, we are never gonna last that. Like, we will not, like, the way the Earth's gone and shit, we are never gonna last as, as long as they did without being something else. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because, like, obviously, I think maybe you're going to talk about it, but if yeah. we sort of, um, say we, in the future, we begin slowly to morph into, like, with technology and we become part robot and part, like, this and slowly that just develops. I, I think, sorry. You no, I, something. if that just develops, then we're not going to be homo sapiens anymore. No. So that'll be the end of that species. That's kind of already started. There's, a, there's like, a mad cunt, and I was reading about it just when I was looking up all this shit. There's a mad cunt in Spain who's, like, got an antenna, like, what? surgically put into his brain so he can, like feel a, he's got a different sense he's got another sense it's like vibrations kind of the sense of what but he can he see, what, see, when, see when like can infra, loud? see when like infrareds in the room it vibrates a certain way and when like uh, ultraviolet why shit, would you like, why so, would you want that because he wanted to be uh he was like the first ever um trans species he was like half robot half that's fucking um, good, man. but i think before that happens like we are gone, extinct. Do you know what I mean? I think. What do you mean? I think before we. Do you think there's got to be like a big natural disaster sort of thing? I know even natural, like man made, I think, man. Like, I, do, I, I feel that we've got to a point, like, obviously we're going to go into this and we're still on, like, uh, Homo erectus now, but like, we are going to, like, 
like a evolve all this stuff that much and like because in the past like 100 years we've we had like hardly any technology and then in the past like 20 year we've had fucking all like the advancements went like there's a fucking graph that goes like that do you know what right. i mean it just goes right up so see if you just keep going up mate like excess stuff excess stuff using burning fossil fuels not like doing all this shit is just gonna it needs to come to an end do you know what i mean mm -hmm. right, so it's like fine it's like you're trying to live like infinitely on finite resources aye, exactly and like it, extracting them it pure kills the fucking planet and shit aye. and it's like I, it, it's like it, it will re aye, it is like two points and it's just go to come to, it's aye. going to cross at one point isn't it so it just depends what comes first know what i mean aye. Like, but I, i'm gonna go into kind of well a bit, well a well of gonna stuff be like that. Aye. but i as well mate so not only do we have homo erectus we have obviously you named earlier jamie the neanderthals now another species of human which shared the planet with sapiens and Neanderthals. So Neanderthals lived in Europe and Western Asia around 350,000 years ago. Uh, and they often lived in like cold climates because their bodies were like so like fit much physically superior than us. Like they had like the their, their like brow was I like pure thick, mate. Right. Like the I don't know what you call it, the brow ridge. Or I think it's just the brow. Aye, aye like the brow bone. <laughs> mate, it was like pure, massive. Like the bodies were pure, like muscular and stocky, and that. So basically, what I'm saying is right. Say, say it's summer 2022. Mm. The boys are in Ibiza. Hot boy summer. They're in Ocean Beach. Couple of bottles of fucking Grey Goose. Couple of bottles of fucking Belvedere. We're getting right fucking on it. Couple of patsies, yeah. Couple of couple of bumps, okay, yeah. Yeah. And you are there. You've been going to the gym all year. You've been going to this new PT. <sighs> you're looking good. You're getting pictures and that tension like that. See if I see if I party a Neanderthals walk in there. Fucking pack your bags, mate. These cunts are ripping out their nut, mate. Aye. So they would put you to shame, basically, mm -hmm. is what I'm saying, mate. Aye. Wig you about. Oh, they would wig you about in in a fucking heartbeat, mate. But. The thing is, we like Neanderthals. What what's like? What would you say is like the common perception of like a Neanderthal? Like, what would you? What words would you associate um, with them? And like the today's like lexicon. Caveman. Like caveman. Aye. Answer. That's so, my answer. Uh, <laughs> no, it'd be like daft things. Like people say, like, oh, if if you're still pure sexist, not that. If you're still pure. Aye, so like stupid, be like aye. a bit stupid and a bit like. Like just <gasps> aye, <laughs> toxic masculinity. Aye, aye toxic yeah. masculinity, baby. <laughs> aye, but the brows, mate. See if Neanderthals are still about. See the birds at day brows and that. They would be fucking. That would be the millionaires, mate. The Ra brow birds raking it in, I know. Oh, they would. Oh, mate, the, mate, they would. No, they would need to go to a barbers for that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> they need to go to a bean skin, cue, mate. Skin fade on the eyebrows, <laughs> mate. Get a They're <laughs> <laughs> just lying down. <laughs> Fuck you, troops. If you don't know, get to know. Belter Lux. Now, Belter Lux have been sponsoring this for a wee while now, and we're happy to have them on board because, mate, they're helping people out. Mm -hmm. They're helping people who cannot afford no. the finer things in life, you know? No. The peasants, as I like to call them. The tramps. The tramps of the day. If you're a tramp watching this... Like us. Like... <laughs> oh. uh, me. So, like you, basically, right? <laughs> So you're sitting there, you want a Rolex, you want some money. Better Lux has got you covered. So Better Lux run competitions that you can win outrageous prizes. So currently, we'll just give you a wee run through of their current um, competitions that they've got. So again, troops, this isn't like a raffle, right? This is like you pick, you pick the competition you want to enter. Say it might be a rolex what else could it be holidays holidays just straight up cash just sent to you you'll pick your competition and then you'll have like a wee game to play on the website so uh, it, it can be and it's like a skill based thing then whoever wins that wins so it's there's merit in it it's Aye. not just luck of the draw here and um, everybody hates luck I know, no, definitely. As the saying goes luck is for losers and I hope, believe that with my, my whole heart luck is for suckers luck oh. Aye, suckers, Glasgow suckers. <laughs> uh, you can win lifetime Glasgow suckers. That is the big competition they're running, lifetime membership to Glasgow suckers. Um, <laughs> no questions asked. But So they've got a competition, so I'm just trying to figure out when this will be out. So, Submariner. Submariner. Um, you can tell I don't have a Rolex. In fact, oh, I do have a Rolex. Kaz Milligan gave me one. Um, <laughs> uh, so they're running that competition. So a Rolex, Submariner, you can enter that. Um, also, 
starting, so it would have been yesterday, this one you could have entered, win an immediate transfer of 750 quid to your bank account. Boom. Just, nay, nay, oh. oh. But how much do you need to pay for that? Is it like 50 quid or something you need to do? Yeah, what, a tick for a tick? Aye. For a ticket? Uh-huh. <laughs> 99 pence. Woo! 99 pence to enter. 99 pence for a chance at winning 750 quid. 750 big ones instantly. It's outrageous, Jamie. Ridiculous. It's sickening to a point. <laughs> but, you know, the guys, they're, they're also doing... So this would have been the same day as this one it started. An Amsterdam getaway for two. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want that? A two-night stay at Cameron House. All 99p to enter. So, man... Get on it, troops. So I people thought they were stupid as fuck, bro, but they weren't they really. <laughs> they really weren't they. I mean, they were extremely skilled hunters, mate, better than us. They made tools, controlled fires, and they also buried the dead. Aye. And like put like marked mad symbols in the caves where they were buried and all like shit like that. So soup they obviously a hot, soup in a hot roll. Soup in a hot roll at the Neanderthal <laughs> Freer Road, man. What do you think what kind of soup would be served at a Neanderthal Freer no? It would be like Eyeballs. No, I think it would be like sword, swordfish soup and that, innit? <laughs> swordfish? Yeah, but swordfish about then? How long swordfish been about, Joe? Be honest. <laughs> be honest, as if it's his opinion. 27 million year. That sounds about right to me. Uh, <laughs> so, I so, I mean, they were all right. The Neanderthals, I mean, they weren't there. I mean... I mean, they were obviously special to be alive in that, so but... So, were they the ones in, like, the start of 2001, A Space Odyssey, that, like... Discovered tools and that. They were the they were the tool the toolmen. Um, if you are like if you had like a problem with maybe a the hinge of your uh, double glazing window, a Neanderthal would come around and fix it. Nay, bother, bro. As well, they unlike sapiens had the physical ability to fight real animals, mate. Ooh. Mammoths. They could fight a mammoth, bro. Aye. And like come out on top sometimes. What with spears and that? Just. No, like um, amateur wrestling, ah, yeah, double yeah. leg takedown, stuff like that. Neanderthals have got that build, man. But that's because, like, ma- mammoths come from like a sumo background, so they'll not get that discipline. It's a, it's a style clash, to be <laughs> fair. It is a bit of a style clash. I don't know, uh, but I would, I'd, I'd call it down the middle, I would say. Aye. But so it was speculated, but that we evolved from Neanderthals, right? As if, like, they were once kind of us and then we evolved out of that, right? Mm-hmm. But recent findings have told us that some people living in areas where Neanderthals lived actually have about 2% Neanderthal DNA in them. Aye. So no no 100% sapiens. Us. Aye. So we are part like Neanderthal and we're also part... I think I'm part Neanderthal, man. Aye, he's got the brow for it. You do have a bit of a Neanderthal brow on you, bro. Me, and him have kind of got... You do have... Mate... Joe, you, you are actual. I mean, I don't like. I mean, the hair a bit like the. Oh, I've got aye. the kind of upper head like it, man. Aye, aye. You've Maybe got a bit of Lee in you. Well. Have you ever had Lee in you? No. <laughs> aye. aye. I've had the wig on, man. Aye. <laughs> I have you a wig on my back. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh. Um, ah, that's another episode, was a, man. There was a South Park episode where now, like, Randy, like, stands there. Mm-hmm. They're like, the funniest kind in South Park. He, like, was. He was like had like forties of them that were like few years ago that could people were saying were racist now. So he like dressed up as Christopher Columbus. He dressed up as like a a, a Native American in that. Was and he's like, Bin Laden or? He, he, I don't know, maybe maybe he had a bit of Evan uh, Riley on him. Uh, I know. But um, he had to like he was like trying to like scramble to um, like to prove he wasn't a racist or anything so he was like deleting all the photos and that and then like he got this, this DNA mob to come run and like uh, test him but he got this like Native American out the back and he like ran out and like nipped him and then ran back in so he had like some saliva on him like and he uh, ran back in and it was, they were like oh it's like a urine sample and he was like oh fuck <laughs> and then he runs back out and he's like ah, you gotta put some like he's doing much shit like that Bye. but uh, it turned out at the end of that that he was like one or zero point seven percent Neanderthal. And the guy's like, and that's really rare. Like, Aye. and he goes, "What are Neanderthals?" And he was like, "Oh, they were like a species of human that got wiped out." And then he's like, "They got wiped out." And he goes, "So I'm in the minority." <laughs> and he walked about and he's like campaigning for like oh, and rights, and rights. <laughs> <laughs> like Neanderthal rights. Like Wait, South Park is unexplainably like timeless, mate. Like Aye. how how they have. Just kept for like, uh, for where they hold. How many episodes do you think we've got in us? Maybe a hundred. 
Mm, Max. Max. Absolute Max. <laughs> Absolute Max. Here, we are on the edge of never doing this again right now. <laughs> Max, hey, imagine we go to 99 episodes and I'll just like, man, I can't. Finish on top. <laughs> Should we be Martin and he'll die in our mind? <laughs> but we man. but I Neanderthals mate but I so we actually have like so we, so where people lived like well where, where people live right now in areas that the Neanderthals lived in have Neanderthal DNA in them Aye. and and people really didn't think that until re, like this got discovered like that wasn't it? probably the popular theory it was the popular theory was that we're all kind of different. We're a hundred percent sapien. We've not got anything else in us. Aye, but we've like all collectively. It wasn't. It? See, that's what I was wanting. Because that means off. we'd met them at one point and Aye. like bred with them. So, so are we different. Uh, like, did, was there ever a um, would you call that like a crossover? Aye, well that's like, like what ha- aye that's what happened. But we like so like we must have bred like I had done a breeding with them at some point because like um it, it's weird because there's there's records of, like no records but people they've discovered that we've like fought with Neanderthals mm. but we also must have interbred but they, you've got to remember they were all over the world they were they were in the UK oh, and yeah. like right there to like fucking like mountains and fucking China or something mate it was mad like the, the, the stretch of land so like this is the thing with sapiens right and that'll go on to this like this cognitive revolution our, our abilities were to think that's it, mate. Like, that's how we beat everything. We could outthink them all. So if, if 50 sapiens and 50 Neanderthals fought, fought each other, Neanderthals would win the first time, right? But see the ones that survived, they would go away and come up with a strategy next time to what to do, right? They've done this this time. So our ability to create situations in our brains that haven't happened yet, that's how we out, oh, yeah. outgrow all these species because they could only go right they're the humans i'll go attack them very like linear thinking but we can like 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 um conceive we plans together and next time this is what this is what went wrong so we'll review it and we can next time you go out there it's that's how but because we are like no physically imposing like compared to these Aye. these species like neanderthals in a fight and a and a square go, mate. Aye. If 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 I went to school with the Neanderthals and one of them offered me a square go at lunch, I'm gonna him. Uh, there's no way. If somebody can fight with a mammoth, so I'm gonna go into the last species. Obviously, there's been about fifteen confirmed, but um, this is just another interesting one. I thought so. Homo, I can't even say this, mate. Homo floresiensis, right? So they they are a dwarf species of human which were discovered in 2003 right Oof. so this is a like quote for wikipedia here right the remains of an individual who would have stood about 1.1 meters so that's three three foot seven uh, in height were discovered in 2003 in liang bao on the island of flores in indonesia <clears throat> Partially, partial skeletons of at least nine individuals have been recovered including one complete skull Okay. So they found them in this cave, and this it's it's mad because like what happened is right. So I'll, I'll read the rest of this, and then I can explain it. So they were they were on average about three point five feet in height, with very large feet in proportion to their bodies. So we all know what that means, boy. Nah. Yeah, we all know what that means, boys. <laughs> Big massive shoes. Big huge shoes. Nah, they were uh, they were actually completely naked the whole time, bro. Aye, they they no way these cunts knew about clothes and that, mate. No no danger. Um, so they were known for hunting elephants. What? But the elephants were also dwarf. Dwarf elephants? Dwarf elephants. So they would hunt, the wee people would hunt the wee elephants. Adorable. Um, <laughs> so, Storybook stuff. But what happened is, right, so obviously you might be thinking, like, how the fuck is there actually a dwarf species? How did that happen, right? What happened is, there's a small island in Indonesia called Flores, right, that, that this happened on. And at one point, humans, some like other species of human, has went there, when the sea level's been low, right? Because it's, like, a- accessible. They're obviously, like, we'll go out there, f- see what we can get, blah, blah, blah. So they go out there, but then after being there for a while, the sea ra- level rise, so they can't get they can't get off it again. And then see, like, when they were there, what happened is that island isn't rich in resources for, like, food. So, like, there wasn't a lot of foraging to be done. There wasn't a lot of animals, big animals, to feed, like, a, gr- a big group of people. So the bigger people there started dying off right. because they needed more food whereas all the little people that didn't need a lot of food survived because 
they like and then obviously if they're all surviving and all the bigger ones are dying years and years and years and years are like th that dna like they get up with the two small people reproducing and it just eventually created a a, a dwarf species That's like a hobbit basically natural mate. selection in it in insane mate then this is like this is what's crazy this, this 2003 that's no long at all i know that's mental <laughs> no that is actually mad so that is some species of humans that were kicking about when we were kicking about apart from um what homo erectus were for a while still but it's it's, it's obviously i was talking about the start that we were quite insignificant animals. No, we weren't the dominant at all. Actually, the the kind of pattern that us eating would be like, say there was an animal that got killed right by like a lion, mm -hmm. right? So the lion would eat most of its, its like carcass, would you say? Uh, yeah. So like the body. And then what would happen is say like hyenas and that would then come in after the lions and they would like, that, like fucking the ribs, you know what I mean? Finish uh, off. But then us, shite bags, pussios, we would be hiding in a wee bush, mate. And then we'd be like, ah, let's go get the bone marrow. That is terrible. And then enough. we would go get the, because we were like last in we're the pecking order. Sloppy thoughts, mate, we, were, mate. we were nobodies. But, mate, the reason that we started to outgrow these animals was how descriptive our language could get, right? So, for example, right, we have the ability to say, you know, say there's a guy that you owe money to, and I'm like, Jamie, bro, he is fucking round the corner. I just seen him. He's in a blue motor. He's probably about 20 minutes away. Um, he looks raging. Like, see the... No, no, no it's not real, mate. It was just... Oh. Sorry, I Did was you, just... How did you know he drives a blue motor? No, no, no mind. No mind. Right, okay. Um, so... <laughs> We have the ability to describe things in great detail, whereas, right. like, say, like, a monkey, right? A monkey can only go, like, oh, fuck, there's a lion. Aye. Oh, fuck, there's a tiger. They kind of go, there's a tiger down there. It's probably about this far away. Aye. So we just naturally started to outgrow all these animals, right? But what's interesting is, right, that's how we outgrew the animals, but then how did sapiens outgrow all these species, right? And it's mad. I, I found this so interesting. So the... It's language again, right? It's our use of language, but it was our ability to gossip. Right. So, like, for example, our language evolved in, a, like, a specific way to give us the ability to gossip about people. So, say there's, like, a tribe of Neanderthals, right? And there's a wee tribe of us, right? We, our language developed in a way that we could go like that. Here, yeah, see when I was fucking out hunting with that cunt, like talking about your own tribe. See when I was out fucking hunting with that cunt, he fucking he ate much more than me when he gave me a bit, man. The cunt's like, ah, you're fucking joking, mate. We need to get this cunt out of this tribe, man. So the way that we're about, like that cut out all the bad people, and like we could start to like build more trustworthy, stronger groups of people. Right, right. So because but Neanderthals and that didn't they develop a language that they could do that. So we developed a lot quicker than them. Right, yeah, I get you. Because like in that in the book Sapiens, he uses the example. He's like, <clears throat> he's like, it's like history lecturers or something uh, on their break in a uni. Do you think they go in the staff room and talk about how the war started and that? Or do they talk about, I she slept with him and his like, uh, nobody really, to, oh, like, that's why I always say to people, right? And I hate people that say this, right? Because <clears throat> I think it's it's bullshit, basically, right? See, when you're with people and they go, I don't really like to talk about people, right? But because, like, it's literally in our DNA to, like, bitch about people, basically. Uh, yeah, like, fun. that's how we've developed. I mean, bitching about people is the best. <laughs> it's just um, oh, yeah. And, like, the best thing is they can't hear it, you know <laughs> what I mean? So that is obviously a huge bonus. Um, unless you put it in a podcast. Unless you do put it in a podcast. Which we do sometimes. Which we do <laughs> sometimes, I <laughs> definitely. But see, when you said that, like, because um, I, I don't know why, in my head, I thought that the current was lying. So I thought you were saying, like, <clears throat> he was lying, going, he fucking gave me that, like, being sneaky. Like, oh. when we were out, he ate much more than me. I, I, I thought they were being sneaky and lying about the other cunt. Oh, and no, I was like, no, no, we... See, the thing is, like, we... I, I don't even think they thought of that yet, probably, mm -hmm. to be honest, but it is, it is mad, because, like, if you think about it, it's such, like, a what's the word like intrinsic party or I don't know if that's a word party us like and we all all try and kid on that we don't want to date or that we don't like obviously there is people that go way to overboard with it right <laughs> but they're just in touch with their ancestors you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. that's what I'm saying they're in touch with the OGs basically like if you're listening to this and you're a bit of a bitch 
it's all right. Be that bitch. Mm-hmm. Be that fucking bitch. Be, be that fucking bitch, man. And that's what we're saying in 2022. But I, I'll develop. We develop that ability to gossip about each other and build stronger groups through this trustworthy people. And also, like, we could. We also had the ability to believe in like fictitious things. So, like, for example, right, we, me and you, have the ability right now to believe in a religion, mm-hmm. right? So, we believe in things that we can't see in front of us. And that creates, that, that gives us the ability to like coexist in bigger, bigger, bigger groups because. If if one physical person is the leader of the group, then you can see it. And like, whereas like, if it's a fictitious thing, we have the capability to like all believe in that one Aye. message or that one way of life for that one. So, and 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 sapiens again, they give the example of like a company like Peugeot, right? If you like the guy who started Peugeot when he died, Peugeot didn't die, right? Mm-hmm. But also like, if you went and blew Peugeot's head, like. Where is their physical space? We, like we, if you went and blew up every Peugeot building in the world, Peugeot wouldn't go away. Aye. But if you killed our shareholders, right, who like, own the company and that, it still wouldn't go away. So there's, it exists like through, it's it's like law, something, it's like fict, it's fictitious law, something fict. Aye, law. I know what you mean. Can't remember. It's the but, same as like like nation states and all that. I, school, it's just an idea. Like Britain, I, Britain's not a thing. Exactly. It's just like, an idea. That is like the, the bigger picture. It's like, but it's weird because it is made up, but that has actually gave us the ability to outlast all these fucking other species. Because it's, it's gaining something to pure like hard, like pure work towards mm-hmm. and all. Like say it was like religion. It's like that's like a pure thing. It's like, oh well. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? You're like, hot. Aye. Aye, aye, it's like a big like, common goal when it gets people aye. like unified and shit. Instead of just like, see if there was any anything like that, and it was back in the day, and you were like a Neanderthal or something, and you you couldn't like pure hope and have faith in something, you would literally just stay like the way you are. Know what I mean? No, definitely. You stay fucking. I know, and that's obviously what happened. That's aye. how we fucking. Now we get cravings for like high calorie, like high sugar foods, right? Mm-hmm. The reason that is, is because, see your DNA, we still think we're in the wild. Like right. our DNA is still pure primal, like like pure, obviously like survival. Eye. So it's, we're still, that's still in our DNA. So see, like that goes back to our ancestors when they found like a tree with like a bunch of like, like a fruit on it, like sweet fruit or like something like that. And like, or like something, it was so rare for us to find that, that w- the instinct it, w- when they seen that was to just grab it and eat as much as they could, as Aye. fast as they could. So that is in our DNA still. And that is why we Swipe. still get like that, air that food. Why you run around in circles and mental munchies and all that? Aye, Aye. just, just. Grabbing cr- Reese's Pieces and But that. there was no, mate, there was no tackies when I went there, so I'm uh, still upset about that. There's tackies everywhere Aye. now, mate. I know, mate, 101's not. Aye, but I, and like, it, it was called it was real we never found the stuff but um no foragers mate like foragers had a bad cush day life bro aye they ne- never had to go out in the mate 35 hour work week aye. i would i would i would do a lot for that right now mate 35 hour work week <laughs> they had it they had it cush day because like what happened what happened as well is obviously after this we went into the agricultural uh, revolution so the cognitive revolution is when we developed all these abilities to, and nobody really knows why we did, mate, or how. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? People just think it. Uh, people think it was like an accident, basically. I know like, genetic mutations, like that. We suddenly developed all these abilities, and just here we are pure, now. Everything's like landed perfectly, just Aye. to like make exactly do that. felt in the right place. And and then I once I won't go into it, but we once we go into the agricultural revolution, that then gave us the ability to feed hunters of people more than we could by just hunting and foraging mm-hmm. and that and then that's obviously how the population of sapiens just started growing and growing and aye, growing aye because you're reproducing because you're closer together and all mm-hmm. that as well aye nah. but I mean that's us right up to that point but I want to know something else Jamie I've been wondering what do you want to know mate where are we going for here man well where see, are we going for here mate see like when I've been listening to you and like with sapiens and stuff aye. see because of the stuff I've been kind of looking up about like where we're going in the future it just makes me realise we are actually just mad daft monkeys man I <laughs> mean that's, pure, what I, that's what I'm finding we bro. still are just pure daft monkeys Aye. just with like big brains you know what I mean Aye. but um, I'm going to be talking about something called the Kardashev scale mate which is a is a scale made by this guy right 
No, your name was? Caldeshire. Aye. Uh, so <laughs> original, man. Uh, um, so it's a scale, right, that ranks technological advancements and civilizations uh, based upon energy consumption. So see, like, where we are going, it only, like, the only thing that matters is energy. That's, like, the pure... That's the thing that can take us f to the next level. Do you know what I mean? Energy? Aye. Like, so, like... What? like solar power and stuff like uh, using so we'll watch this video of the cardiac chef scale but i just wanted to kind of just before that i kind of wanted to go through a wee history lesson i know we've been doing like that. proper history right but i was just wanting us to do like the last hundred years of technology right fire through it because <laughs> right so see wh how long did you say that we <laughs> file through it last hundred years just I'd go for it bro. start now <laughs> um, next we'll start the new so how long did you say that say sapiens have been about 200 300 thousand years right and then like see see the, see technology in that time it's like it didn't have any advancements right so um, like I'll show you. So like, f like the first like two hundred thousand years of that basically. Like there was fuck all right, and seen the past like hundred years. This is like a this is like a table to show. So this is from like fourteen hundred right. But right. that this ah, yeah. see this straight line mm -hmm. that would go right back to like Neanderthals. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. So in the fourteen hundreds we invented the printing press. In the sixteen hundreds we invented the st telescope. Seventeen fifty steam engine blah blah onto the 1900s we invented the car and then see for then it's just went like straight up that is a very straight line mate. it's a very straight line mate because the advancement's been mental like it's been mental do you know do you know like how like that on your phone you've got 250 gig or whatever on your phone right mm -hmm. do you know what that first was like it was literally a factory like the first ever like kind of bit of technology to store data was like a, the size of a factory and it was like a printing press that like had a scroll coming out it that was like having dots punched into it that then get fed into an even bigger machine like the size of fucking warehouses do you know what i mean what? so that was the first that obviously that's no that was that was years ago right they used the same technology to start the first ever data storage so it was it was like they used binary code with holes and it, it's printed out big scrolls of paper, just kept going. And that was just because that was faster than writing words. And the only the only thing that it kind of stored was like machine uh, manual parts and that. Like, see, Boring. Man, I know, mate, exactly. So, Get some love letters on it. <laughs> so um, there was no advancements for about 500 a year until IBM debuted the first ever hard disk drive. Sounds futuristic, doesn't it? it does, a, a hard disk drive. How heavy do you think that was? The first hard disk drive? Aye. Oh, that got so to be you, weird. you got a guess? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, hold on. Oh, I hate guessing. I hate guessing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess? So, like, a, a hard disk drive's like this size now. Oh, it's not. Well, you know what I mean. It's like a, it's a hard drive, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, right, so a hard drive is like this size. <laughs> right. How? SSD solid state drive, the hard disk drives get hard disks when they're booting. Right, okay. So it's, it's still only, it's still only that, if it's got a disk. So it was, I want a guess for you. Right, okay. I think the first one of that was... Three kilograms. It was 971 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> it was five of me. <laughs> that's five of me. It contained what nine hundred seventy one. That's so five like, of you. I'm like two hundred or something kilograms. Mm -hmm. Am I no? No, I'm a hundred kilograms. It's nine uh, of me. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say I'm two hundred pounds. I was in shallow <laughs> um, <laughs> I always get them mixed up. Pounds and kilograms. Right. So it contained fifty discs that combined could hold a whopping. 3.56 megabytes joe how how many how how many gig is this podcast going to be video will be about six gigabyte which would be <laughs> if but that's megabyte so, so that means it'd be about a uh, a thousand to but six six thousand megabyte for the video then probably audio about four Gigabyte. <laughs> Coming up to about so about so 100, 140, 140, 000 megabyte is one episode. That's like 
What is that, 70 megabytes or something? No, three megabytes. Three megabytes. It was about 170,000 or something. 1956. So you would need like thousands of them to have this podcast so on. So little grannies and it was in that, 900 kilograms. Little grannies that didn't have a megabyte between them. No, they, they, saying, they did not, brother. Guess how much do you think this thing cost? Including inflation. Oh, so inflate like today's money? Aye. <laughs> it, was, it was on the market. Was on the market. I would say it was a hundred pound. Thirty grand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So that's like that was in nineteen. 19- Who this? It was just like big flashy companies and nah. nah, nah. like they could store like half a song on it. Nah. Nah. <laughs> half a song. <laughs> so um, there, there wasn't a lot of um, advancement after that until nineteen seventy one when the floppy disk was invented. And we've all had that. We've all had a floppy disk, right? So my granny had a floppy disk, shoulder disk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had my floppy disk when I get son. That's the lady, bro. <laughs> floppy disk, isn't it? Aye, so um, so that was the, they were originally eight inch wee discs that you could that were like kind of bendy. It's mm-hmm. madness now, isn't it? Bendy, but bro. they um, so they were eighty uh, eighty kb. So what's that? Kilobytes. Kilobytes. So you need twelve of them for the store a megabyte a day. So Aye. they're, they're not like there's no much. Me, man. But troops, nineteen ninety nine. Good year. I was two year old. You were two or two or three or something. It's a good year, mate. We nineteen. I've got nostalgia about nineteen ninety nine. Aye. Something. Something rom- about it. Something romantic. Y two K in that. <laughs> the world ending in that is romantic. Um. So that was when you got your your now your wee sand discs briefs. Aye, aye, aye. So that was like. Sandisk were the first ones today, like they proper wee things. But they aye, high. aye. So um, they can still only hold eight megabytes. Think about that, like nineteen ninety nine. So that's twenty twenty three years ago, and it could still only store eight gig. In comparison to now, we've got micro USBs that are smaller than a five pen piece, five pence piece that can hold a terabyte of data. Meaning, see yeah. the big nine hundred seventy kilo, kilogram fuckers. Aye. You would need two hundred and sixty thousand of them. <laughs> for one micro USB that size and that's like only fucking 60 year apart so I so wait what like what has happened in these years that have made us do this mate I don't I honestly don't know but see that like the speed of acceleration do you think it's, you think it's the growing population no no I don't think so no I think it's innovation man I think it's like you've got sparks of genius like I've said to you a hundred times the guy that made the fucking the 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 silicon chips mm-hmm. as a genius like that's just came that out is anywhere. genius that's just came out and he's just like this is a thing I've made Mate, but do you know what's crazy like obviously I suppose people are like made for that but you ever had an idea and you're like it's as if somebody just dropped it in your head like it's Aye. no like it came from somewhere in you it's like you're like why did I think of that and it was a it's a good idea writers say that like they say it's like the ideas are like there everywhere and you need to grab them Aye. it's like you're I feel, not coming I feel like up with you're tapping into like there's one consciousness and you're tapping into other bits uh, instead of you would, pure and you're cause, in because there's like infinite possibilities out there so it's like there is an infinite amount of ideas that you could really have Aye. Aye, almost exactly. so it's like and they're, no, what, they're no in you, they're out there. And Aye. as daft as it sounds, like how many times have you done, right, I need to sit down and think about this thing, I need to come up with this thing, and how it's pure impossible. The only time you ever get in done is if you're thinking about something else and it pure Aye. pops into your head. Do you like, your sub, like your subconscious is pff, the it's man. Your, it's your best friend. It's your best friend and your fucking... <laughs> your king, worst nightmare. And your fucking worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so... Like we've got other technical technological advancements in the past hundred years. So in 1974, Motorola invented a big fat brick like this, a big fucking, a big topper, right? It had telephone. It took ten hours to charge and would only stay on for half an hour. Then it came out to 1983 and it was ten grand to buy and it had twenty minute charge time. So that was like, <sighs> uh, and then you've got your Nokia 1011 in 1992. It could text. What about that, eh? Fancy. Yeah. And it could hold 90 numbers. <laughs> so I don't have 90 numbers on the phone, man. I could still have that. And now you've got your iPhones again. Yeah, you know what I mean? Your Samsungs and your iPads and all that. Mate, wait till you hear this. The first ever computer, right? So Charles Babbage's is the, the, the fucking computer god, right? Is he French? I don't know. 
Jazz Babajis. <laughs> Babajis. I guess cabbages spelt wrong. Cabbages. But, a cabbage um, invented yeah. the, the motto. <laughs> but um, so his computer was an analytical engine. It was a prototype. It was steam driven. Steam powered the computer, bro. The first ever computer. Now we've got all that shite. You know what I mean? That's useless. Sir. So, um, aye. So that's just to, that's just to kind of show us like. For being like Neanderthals and whatever else, and we didn't really get anywhere. We have all these wee revolutions every mm -hmm. couple of thousand years and all that. Aye. Within the past like hundred years, stuff's like changed dramatically. Like the accelerations, like it's not even like chartable. That's another thing. Like you can't even like explain how quick it's went for being like. That's why it's a vertical line. Aye. So it's like we've invented the car, and then it was like for that, for some reason, the combustion engine was like obviously invented, and for then it's just been pure like mental. So, like, there's no kind of. What's the next steps in the so, Kurdishev scale? So, Joseph, I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question right now, mate. Um, the Kurdishev scale, we are. We are close to a type one civilization, so we're not even there yet. That right. sounds like I, I'm buzzing for us to be a type one civilization. It sounds like a, a put down because there's obviously more type two, type three, uh -huh. type four, type five. But we're at about uh, Carl Sagan. Is it Sagan or Sega? Sagan. Sagan. He says that we're at around about zero point seven. So in, a, so in about a hundred, two hundred years, he we should it. be. He said it, aye. Um, but I'll let <laughs> most of the shit I've been talking about is for the YouTube channel, Insane Curiosity. It's class. Like, I actually watch it all the time. So this video is one of those. It's a good we'll description there, isn't it? We'll <laughs> insane Curiosity. We're a couple <laughs> so of insane so curiosities. Right up your alley, mate. But I, um, I go and subscribe to them. They're good. But we'll just so watch this along. The, this is the right video. Them. Aye, credit to them for this brief. We have come to a point where we can't assume how civilizations are going to be in the future. Join me as I explain the Kardashev scale. Kardashian scale. <laughs> <laughs> They're all big arses. Just big hunnels of big The Kardashev <laughs> scale ranks the technological capabilities of a civilization. According to the energy it is able to manipulate and exploit, the scale was invented in 1964 by the Russian astronomer Nikolai Semenkovich Kardashev, who was looking for signs of extraterrestrial life within cosmic signals, and proposed a scale for ranking these hypothetical civilizations based on their energy consumption. So the Kardashev scale was developed as a way of measuring a civilization's technological advancement based upon how much usable energy it has at its disposal. The scale has three types that follow the scale of astrophysical structures in our local universe. The basic calibration is based on three energy positions on the scale corresponding to the ability to fully manage the energy resources of an inhabited planet. Type 1, the star of the respective solar system. Type 2, and its galaxy. Type 3, other astronomers have expanded the scale to type 4 and Push. type 5. So that's saying type 1, a type 1 civilization has got complete control of its of all the energy on its planet as right. a planetary kind of civilization. So that's what you're saying about so, the energy is like crucial. Aye, so that's all going to explain it better. But like, so see, using uh, being able to like use all the energy that your planet provides, it would be like being able to manipulate the weather and it causing like wind storms to right. make. Right, so um, you can, can basically like control climate change. Aye, aye, control everything, control like the seas, so that we have like uh, hydro. Uh, hydroelectrics or whatever. What is the like, thing about like what is that thing ages ago about like um like in uh, like Dubai and that them like making it rain and shit? What was that? Uh, yeah. And I don't mean with the cash, bro. <laughs> I mean because it's what people would you are always making it rain in Dubai, brother. <laughs> what would you do if you had the power over the weather, man? I'd be pure cooking chicken with fire and all that. If you're making fire uh, like cooking chicken, man. No, but but you can't but then is cooking the world on fire? Is it no the temperature? I'd bring it fire just for this wee one bit, pure cook kings on it. Now. Ah, be doing do that? Lightning, lightning, maybe. Right. Right. Imagine, imagine you got a bit of lightning to light a joint. You're sitting about to smoke a joint and you're like that, and I'm you just get a one wee tiny bit of lightning, like. <sighs> Just that's, a wee skinny bit of lightning. That's the world I want to be living in, bro. But, we nearly there, or what? Or what? Well, we're about 200 to 200 years away, mate. So oh, it okay. controls, well. like, all the energy that you're, uh, that can come out your planet, as I say, wind, fucking sea, everything, right? And, like, just using it, using your planet 
puts every natural energy resource to the best its ability. Aye, to optimise the planet, basically. Aye. And then a type 2 civilization, as he says, is like, see your star, so that's the sun, that's been able to harness all the energy for that. And that doesn't just mean, like, fucking, a, like, a, like the, the, if you were planetary, it would be like you covered the full, like, radius your planet with like solar things mm -hmm. but if you're type 2 civilization it would be putting a sphere around the sun and harnessing ah. all the energy of that and then type 3 would be galactic so this we're going to explain it better but i just wanted to clear it up because the guy doesn't know what he's fucking <laughs> yeah, guy. samples of civilizations that could correspond to the kardashev scale are both terrestrial and other supposedly extraterrestrial civilizations. Due to the fact that the American astronomer and astrophysicist Carl Sagan wanted to classify our current civilization, he noticed that we are not type 1 yet, and he explained and calibrated the scale before type 1. The reason why human race is not even on type 1 yet is because we continue to maintain our energy needs from dead plants and animals here on Earth. We are just a humble culture, type 0, and we still have a very long distance to go before promoted to a type 1 civilization. According to Carl Sagan, in 1900, during the Industrial Revolution period, our terrestrial civilization was at 0.58, while in 2012 it was at 0.72 on the scale. So we'll barely fucking Stephen Dyson it. estimated that we will probably reach type 1 in 100 to 200 years, type 2 in the year 11,200, and type 3 in 100,000 to 1 million years. That's history. Before we continue with our <laughs> explanation of the Kardashev scale, exaggeration, be sure to like or dislike the video so that we can continue to improve and- So this is like- I've got an amazing fact about that. See, uh, see two years before the plane was made, they mm -hmm. said it would take like two million years before we would ever make something that flew. Aye. Did they, like aye? two years before they did it. But, but, mate, this is what I mean about like, you need a wee bit of genius, bro. The Watt Brothers Aye. or whatever they were called, they had that wee bit of genius. That, that spark. And it comes for, do you know, like, I think, because you get genius in a lot of different ways, Evan. Oh, of course. Eh? Right, so you get, like, so see, see, Maradona, right? See, for me, that is the same as the guy that invented microchips or the like Einstein and shit. That's like, see the speed of the way he thinks it's no a human doing that mm. it's coming from somewhere else uh -huh. and genius is pure divine you know what i mean mm. like a mad god thing yeah, just so going yeah, through you somewhere else i defo mate because it's like like the reason i say maradona is because i don't think it's just like mad scientific ideas i think there's genius and hunters of shit do you know what i mean mm -hmm. and it's like defo it can't just be like a mad monkey brain like pure hammer my way at something and going right we're gonna like harness the energy of the sun do you know what i mean Aye. like it is definitely something else so as you said so that's where like we thought it would be millions of years before we flew but then a wee bit of genius comes and cunts invent helicopters and planes and all that do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so maybe this is like and then the people this. who so one of the wright brothers he said that they would never be able to cross the atlantic on it and all that but they always what a dumb bitch they, that and then was. they did it no, oh, nobody's predicting these it's things, a stupid right? science bitch i am um, <laughs> So aye, that's what I mean. So this says that that will be between a hundred thousand years and a million years. What was the what was it to type one again? Was it hundred to hundred to two hundred? Mate, that's like not long away. I know. We'll live for it. Think so? I mean you, bro. Immortal. I'm gonna live forever. But aye, go ahead, Joe. A type zero civilization is based on energy which can derive mainly from sources where energy forms are mildly stored and are found before the specific type one two three. Our culture today belongs to type zero, which uses sources such as coal, oil, or natural gas. As we mentioned before, it is understood that we have not reached type one in the Kardashev scale yet. Type one. A type one civilization has complete control over the energy of its host planet. As a type one civilization, we would be capable of controlling Earth entirely. So this civilization has managed to tame and consume the energy offered to it by its own planet, which it fully controls. It would, for example, be capable of collecting all the starlight that falls on the planet. However, the ability to harness all of the Earth's energy would also mean that we could have control of all natural forces. The temperature, the climate of the planet, could be controlled in the same way that we could control volcanoes, weather conditions, and even earthquakes. It is possible that weather or even earthquakes can be changed at will by this civilization. 
so we could influence the nature. At least, that's the basic idea. These things are hard to believe, but compared to the advances that can be made in the coming years, imagine that these are just basic and primitive Wait, levels is, of control. Is, is my... Type 2. The basic next step, ideas, really? Uh, type 2 civilization. This is the next stage in the evolution of a civilization. At this level, the inhabitants who make up such a civilization can harness the power of their mother's star, their sun, not only by turning the light of the star into energy, but by controlling the star itself. It would control the orbit of all planets in that system, harvest asteroids and comets at its leisure, and basically consume the entire solar system. For example, if humans survived long enough to reach this level, and an object the size of the moon entered our solar system with a collision course with our little blue planet, we would have the ability to wipe it out from the ground. Or if we had time, we could move our planet, avoiding it altogether. But let's just say we move didn't planet. want to move the Earth. <laughs> Bro, did I not tell you I'm moving planet? Well, yeah, oh, because we'd be able to move the planet, Jupiter, or another planet yeah, of our choice. Me, I'm oh, I'm oh, Isn't that amazing? Keep in touch, man. <laughs> so we go from controlling a planet to controlling a star, which will lead us to gather enough expendable energy to make our civilization virtually immune to extinction. It is important to mention that the energy it consumes is 10 billion times more than the energy produced by a civilization type 1. Type 3. This is a daddy's. But now, in addition to type 3 culture, like a species is now becoming an intergalactic traveler bro, with great bye, bro. knowledge <laughs> of all those who have to do with energy. And that will result in the domination of its species, <laughs> making it a dominant race. You've got that. A type dun, 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 3 civilization now. would span the entire galaxy colonizing and controlling numerous systems. From a human point of view, it's like Star hundreds Trek. of thousands Aye. of years of evolution, yeah, both biological that's, that's and like technological, Star Wars. That's like the Death Star. can lead the inhabitants of this Type 3 culture to be incredibly different from the human race as we know it. A Type 3 civilization controls energy at a galactic <laughs> level in its entire galaxy and may have decimated one or more neighboring galaxies. Such a civilization has reached a level of energy experimentation even with black holes. He can travel in the space and time within the same place and has the ability to escape in the past in case the heat of death is caused in his life. Similarly, the energy it consumes is 10 billion times more than the energy that is produced by a type 2 civilization. Type 4. Right, so that's type scale 4 is a scale MC. extension. Scared. This civilization would be super galactic, able to travel throughout the entire universe and consume the energy output of several, possibly all galaxies. As you do! Sultan Galanti has defined a theoretical extension of the scale with a Type 4 civilization that is in the best place in the world that can control the energy of the whole visible world, possibly the dark matter. He may be able to travel to other universes that's or need, send need information to, touch the to them, them no. so that politicians and that they're all avoiding it. That's develop. getting like cartoon in there. So like actually, here, and, and see what's interesting about this, I actually did write to my local MP mm -hmm. and say like, you've done a great job with the new traffic lights and all that, mm -hmm. that's brilliant. What are you going to do about all the dark matter Aye, that's mate. in the universe? The no, n never once it's have annoying. I got a straight answer. And see the thing is, like, do you know this shit, see like, with COVID and that, and we were getting briefings every day. Aye. Prime Minister never mentioned it once, mate. I know. it's the, People want to talk about COVID. That's the real pandemic. Aye, of course, mate. Or the dark matter. But that's see, about. see, the thing is, mate, this is the kind of shit we need to be talking about in the podcast because it doesn't get said enough. Do you know what I mean? Not on mainstream media. No, exactly. Exactly. We need to get it out there, mate. It's, it's the dark matter's the problem. That is the real problem in society. There's too much dark matter. Fuck off! Oh. Mate, what, what the fuck was that, man? Mate, what was that? <laughs> fuck knows, mate. Dark matter. <laughs> That's because we were talking about that, mate. Mate, we better shut up, man. Yeah, honestly, we better keep our moves zipped, man. Fucking hell. But I. <laughs> but I. So, I. So that's like, that's where we could be going. I was wanting to kind of talk just, even just theoretically, how okay. wh what you think about where we are going as actual humans so that's right. like that's like as a civilization what's so it there's a there's a thing that's called like the great averaging mm -hmm. which is like everybody ends up looking the same and it's because of shit like that like the civilizations like it's you're you're no like do you, no, think, we're, do you think we're getting like that do you think we're looking more, more similar see when you think about now i was saying we're just mad monkeys with big brains like 
see when I see when I was like looking up all this stuff, it's like see obviously to be like an intergalactic planet, you need to all be the same mm-hmm. like hang, right? So you couldn't have like oh I'm for I'm for Turkey or oh, I'm for Aye. I'm for Poso. But is that so a good thing? Earth, right? Mate, I was just while, while I was looking all that up, all that Queen's Jubilee shit was happening, mate, and I was actually watching it and I was like this is such a ridiculous place like Aye. like see I, I, I think that's heavy like neanderthal like old school see all that like oh and we're from here and all that nationalism Aye. and that mate i think it's so like i think if aliens look down on us they'd be like why are they arguing with that I, country i think i think that is like us talking about like the the like like homo erectus like first dis- it's like a it's like wh- as we said once on here when we're doing scheme olympics where are the lines mate who, these are just lines of uh, uh, places they're ideas mate like you say that's what I'm talking about as well we can imagine cities towns governments Aye. religions we have the ability to fucking actually believe in all this Dream shit that actually is nothing more than just an idea Aye, it's mental it's, it's it? crazy mate see like see when do you know what else I, like because I was watching I forget what it was it was a podcast I was watching man I wish I remembered that to tell you but it was like a guy talking about like eh uh, he was saying like what you're saying about like nation states being an idea and like religion being an idea and all that and he goes like insurance companies are an idea like he's like see if you crash a motor he's gone it's just like an idea that they'll pay you they'll Aye. pay you money do you know what i mean know it's no it's, like not an actual matter well, your pension is just a, like i it's just a mad it's just a mad like agreement but, but, but the way it's, it is but it's like a mad catch 22 where these things they hold us back but at the same time they things are the reason that we are surviving we've Aye, Aye. so it's like it's like our downfall as well as like the reason we're here i think like the advancement would only come if we were like globally thinking the same shit but and i don't know how that's even possible see when you think about the new see when you think about imagine a mad super government was like right we are rule the world now that sounds like because i think when i think about stuff i think like I think everybody, you should just have globalism. Everybody's all the uh, same. You can be able to travel wherever you want now. But imagine there was just like a few people controlling everything. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That would be even worse. You ever heard your off to you, bro? You ever heard your aim at the top of the tree, bro? Uh, well, man, you know how the Romans, you know the Romans you like, they would tax people and all that and you'd get all these things that seem the old, then, but you've got the dark ages where like... The reason they were in the dark ages is because they banned like loans and all that. You couldn't, like, people couldn't say, "Oh, I'll pay for that," Even or like, "I'll, money I'll pay that, you for that later." Money in that, and that like takes you to the dark ages. Money's man. an That's idea. Money is an idea as well. Mate, do you know what I think? It's a paper. Mental. Get them at my face. There's a there's a documentary called fucking. Uh, it's called Emperor's New Clothes, right? Right. And it's like a Michael Winterbottom thing, and it's like Russell Brand like fronts it, but he like goes to different banks and like he climbs up one of the Rothschild's houses like climbs out of the fence not, and he's like shouting things and like bamming them up and that and they bits are funny but see when it like it was about the market crash in 2008 and it's mental it says like see the see the see the the the, the payout from the taxpayer to bail out the the banks mm-hmm. that the the following year the banker bonuses were the exact same amount if it was like 81 million or something the next year the bonuses were 81 Aye. million so like it was just like the taxpayers can pay that and then we'll just get all it back next year and it was talking about like how ridiculous it is that like see if you see doing a bank there's no just like see see your bank account say you've got 10 grand in your bank right firstly tap as a score <laughs> but, no, but if you had 10 grand in your bank you've no got like a wee room with 10,000 pounds sitting at Aye. a bank that's just like it's just an idea. It's fictitious money, isn't it? Aye, and it's like... It's 99.9% of your money is like no real into it. Aye, aye it's mate, that's banks it. like wagering for like loans and that. With other people's aye. money, mate. So say somebody has like... So you have 10 grand in your bank, right? I have like 200 quid in my bank. There would be like... Because you've just went and put 10 grand into your bank and I go and lift my 200, they would just give me 200 out of your thing and like... At, like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Take it off mine and add it on ah, yours, aye, like aye. digitally. Aye. So it is just a mad idea, and it aye. is a pure. Aye, aye, aye. They, aye, they invest in ledger things like that. that's how crashes happen for shit like that. But it's just like I think it's mad that 
when I was watching that shit the other day today, we were like, I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna pure be controversial on that and pure like say all oh, this mad shit, right? But it's when I was watching it's like, like the idea that This like is a, the tradition that they walk around the I, holes and they do all this shit and I was just looking at it like Because see, you've been looking at that and all you're like it's pure glaringly obvious like what's going on and that's so old because it's all old like Roman like you say that looks like mad old Roman shit, like I old Grecian stuff and that. that and it's pure like they're doing this and it's been, we've been doing this since 1600 and I'm like why not just stop then like I like <laughs> I mean it is it's like the it's like Americans talking about the like the gun laws and that they're like it's my, my, the second amendment uh, and all that it's like these guys like were literally like do you know what I mean these mate, guys that, didn't know nothing that tweet and they I were told right you about it, it. I, I was like, was like again, I, that, that's what I'm like, thinking yeah, um, I did they say it was like oh it was something to do with it it said a guy, a guy, two hundred years ago who didn't even wash his dick told me I could get, I could have a gun. Oh, that, was like, it, that was it. That was so funny. It is true, but it's I like we hold on to things. We, I don't know. It's weird. Some, some things stick and some things don't. But it is, and it, but that whole idea, of the separation here is all. And you know what's interesting? This is really interesting. I was watching. It's a documentary on Netflix called Secrets of the Tribe, right? Mm -hmm. And it's about the Yanomami people who lived in like I can't remember some in South America or something. Basically, during the eighties, these people were like, see, like Sting and all that, like your big eighties sort of music people. And they were like, Dana as pure. We need to live in peace, like the Yanomami. They have, they had no leaders. They, there was nobody higher than anybody in their social circle. Like everybody was equal. Uh, but it came out later that like that was just a mad campaign. But really, they were just like. They obviously there wasn't a leader in that, but they weren't they, like these peaceful like Danny D. Like mm. it was just an image where they were trying to paint it, like and it was all and they were saying like it was like borderline like racist, that mad image. Like everybody Aye. who lives in a tribe is this like harmonious, like Aye. and it's no like that. But what happened in that was right it's like positive Aye. affirmations in it. Aye. Aye, but, it's not. but these these like anthropologists and that went there and were like doing fucking they let them in and they were doing like no experiments on them, but they were like like researching them and what they do and like all this them. shit and studying them and that and one of the guys who went there ended up marrying a, a lassie who was in the tribe cool. so like this American guy but see because there's no law of age they have, don't have ages right the lassie was like 14 right oh. so he married her and brought up uh, no 14 but she was a young girl mate like see if you see the picture she was young i don't know exactly what it's it creepy, is eh? oh mate pff, well creepy right so he was like but he came back and he was like uh, he was there for like a year or something right or something mad so he was like i don't condone i don't give him and this is an excuse but this was what he was saying he was like i lived with him that long that i started being in their culture where reason. like so like so like he was like it didn't feel like anybody had any it was nothing like that whereas like i'm like mate come on to <laughs> fuck you <laughs> i but I, I don't know but what happened is right he brought her back to america right and like all the other mad anthropologists were like ah, it was like a mad pr stunt so he could walk about well like she was like a mad animal like a mad like, pictures and all that right. so he could get famous basically but he brought her back right and she ended up having to split up with him after a while and she was like i can't live like this like see the fact we live in closed houses because mm -hmm. she's used to waking up every morning like obviously in that like trees like oh, kind of wee self-built huts but you could see everybody so as soon as she wakes up in the morning she's around everybody she knows everybody she loves immediately she can see everybody she's safe with whereas we live in a closed room in a house Grey. in a in a room and, uh, and like hey. it's so segregated there's like uh, six doors I mean, it, and she was like I feel so alone like she was like human beings only meant to live like this Aye. like and it's probably true Aye. like but that's how we're getting I feel like we're getting further and further away from like emotion and all this like I feel like oh, we're slowly becoming these like almost sociopathic creatures where Aye. we're gonna lose emotions and that and what, what's interesting well, that's, is that's I, well, mate, I see, see when we were talking about um well, this is a kind of we were talking on the Patreon deep fried about like the the alien abductions. I don't know. Do you want to give that? Do you want to? Aye, aye. 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 So I talk about the alien abductions, and um, I was talking about like the ones that Travis Walton like met when he was abducted, and when he, he met, he met them doing a show. <laughs> now when he was abducted, and he said like they were like expressionless, but it was like and they were communicating, but no with their moves or like. But he knew, he was like, I knew they were talking to each other because they Aye. were sitting and they were all like, there was three of them and they were all looking at them doing like that and then one of them was going and getting something and passing it to mm -hmm. the other guy we looking at them and that, so it was like pure terror. Aye, terror. Anyway, so. And he was just saying like, 
he just feels like anyway that it's like we're heading towards that like we'll just send like texts well that. there is that like see the theory like aliens are just sort of us for the future visiting us Aye. that is crazy mate the because like theory. if you look at like the way we are going even feel it like back in the day we are so much less mu naturally muscular like our heads are bigger Aye. like everything like and if you think about an alien like the like the pale skin and all that like it kind of look because we are we are going to like obviously the reason we don't have the physical bodies that like our ancestors had is because we don't need them years of dna like we we can we don't need to walk everywhere we can drive so years and years of that dna just makes you n n no need any real you need some muscle but like the the natural muscle just deteriorates and we don't and then your head's getting bigger because your brain's getting bigger and like Aye. so eventually the theory is we are got that's just us visiting for the future and that's what we are going to look like Aye, there's that theory I, I don't know if i've spoke to you about on this but it's like that raelian theory ah you were going here but i don't think you did a mad cult that believe that like the the north the the is it the north star that the wise men follow Aye. in the bible so this is like they believe that the creation myth was us for the future or aliens like visiting us and they say like the north star was a ufo and angel gabriel was just an alien and art like jesus was artificial insemination Fuck to be sake. like one of the like Aye. either like a human like us that's like clever like and knows shit Aye. was like artificially inseminated into this woman back then so that he could give it mad messages and shit and like Fuck. when he was doing like miracles it was just like not like it was doing now that mad thing with your thumb Aye. you did that uh, it was doing that and they were all like oh it's a miracle but obviously no like that Aye. Aye. For, like mad i thought you meant shit. he was actually like pure bamming them up Aye. here these <laughs> Fucking dafty man, they really betting, man. It was just doing like normal shit. I might have had an Apple Watch and they were all like, oh, what is that? Aye. You know what I mean? But that was. Aye, aye, it was in a box above Lind London Bridge. You know what I think's interesting, but like, as well, like you're saying, like, if you're blowing their mind, it's simple shit to us. I always think, man, like, imagine you just gave like a fucking that MacBook to like someday in the Victorian times. They would actual freak they the would fuck out. I think they would just use it as like a food tray or something. I bet they would be like, see if you pressed it and the lights came on and all that, they would be pure like aye. that. Do you know what I mean? They, but, like it's on fire or something? Aye, aye, they'd be like that and they'd like be scared of it almost. Aye, it's fucked up. Would. But no, it's interesting as well what we're talking about, like where we're headed and that. The, in Homo Deus, which is like the, the other book by that author, what's his name? Yuval Noah Harari. Is that man and God or something? No, it's yeah. like um, uh, Homo Deus means human God or something. Aye, no? does it? But then, right. But in that, he talks about like, so if you look at us, one point we sort of lived within nature and we animals and in harmony with animals, obviously we're hunting in that, but it was like a natural cycle. We were only farming animals in that, right? Mm -hmm. So at one point we were kind of in an even playing field with animals, right? <laughs> and then we rose up, but like animals didn't. So we, so then we began to fucking the meat industry, stuff like that. Like basically like so having absolute, absolutely like nay sort of regard for them. Just like you are here to like serve us on this planet, that sort of thinking. But he's saying like, so what happened now is technologies creating up and getting more smart and it's going to reach a point where basically we are the animals and technologies, the humans. And he was, he's saying in it, like, if you have, if you want any idea about how the robots would treat humans, look at how we treat the animals, the new. Aye. Aye. That's pretty scary, mate, isn't it? Aye, no, it is, definitely. Imagine we were just mad bitches, mate. Like, Aye. The, the, nay podcast, mate. man. You were, uh, milking a cow the day or something, man. Aye. You NFT know. came back to bite you, man. <laughs> Aye, the NFT's come to life. Aye, <laughs> Aye mate, that, um, that AI shit does scare me, man, because it's like I'm had... No, what it reminds me of, like, a mad thing... I can't find like the pure perfect analogy, but see like something that's just pure getting out a horn. Like aye. say you're like making a smoothie and like the lid's off and you're like, oh, fuck, and it, it just starts going mate, up. That. that is a perfect description. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it's like everybody can see that this is getting a bit mental, but it's nearly it's a gonna, point where you're, it's never going to go. We're never going to go. Can we all just like chill out for a wee bit? Aye, no, or you can't just. All these companies trying to like outdo each other with it. And you can't just sort it quickly. You can't just be like, oh, put a lid on that. Aye, it's like no. you're pure. I, I you cannot know. put a lid on AI, mate. No, you cannot, mate. Can you fuck? But aye, man. Have you seen the mad um, the thing that cunts keep posting things on Twitter? And that it's like Dali Mini. Oh, but the mad you can create like anything basically. Aye, mate, you want. It's like you just type in like like any kind of any random words. Like you could say, I don't think it's as strong as this, but you could say like Evan Riley eating a pancake. Aye, and it would come up a mad fuck the eye picture of you mate, lunching a that pancake. Is, but that is like a crazy advancement because if you think about like 
deep fakes and shit like that. Like, where, how, we are actually getting to a point we can, because, right, so, like, I would say right now, see that AI creating that, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can create a wee image of that and it comes up and it's wee images and they're bad quality and that. That is like um, fucking the cunt that invented the phone. Do you know what aye, I mean? In aye. terms of like the progress, because you're going to be able to just think up these so things see and they're going to just be there. That's the mini version, right? But see the actual proper version. I'll show you like, things that that's and it just looks like real life. I'll show you. Yeah, that's look, mad. Of, like, yeah. look up just Dali too. It's got. You you can do that on the computer. A courtroom sketch of Snoop Dogg being sued by Snoopy, <laughs> and it's like coming up like <laughs> me. Look, that's like decent shit. Like, that's know. better than what I could draw. So like, among us last supper. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's even thinking these things? Think that's class. I know. I think um, I think I've seen pure Neil Lennon and all that. Pure that one. Dumb shit, mate. I think um, it's just a big competition to see who can be the most random. I oh love a bit of randomness, man. You do. You're a random guy. I'm a bit of a random guy. Do you know what fucks with me? But right, like no fucks with me. But I just think like I have, I sometimes have a hard time understanding other people's methods of thinking. Right. Right. And there's people right who. 100% there's people you could show this to and they'd be like, ah, but like, <laughs> ah, and what, like, like, what? They, they don't think about how insane all of this is. Aye. See this full podcast, like, there was these species of human and they were fighting each other, but we gained this capability for the language and Aye. they're just like, ah, I'm what? <laughs> like, you're, they're just so, but that's like, I think it's, uh, is it Paolo Freire that talks about like, there's different levels of consciousness. Aye. So it's like, You've got like a critical consciousness, then you've got like a global consciousness, like and it's like Car levels. Or Carol, maybe maybe try and get it. Carl but Jung in it. That's is like it a Jungian theory? I like. No, he it, says like. What am I thinking? Ah, yeah, it's, it's a similar thing. I don't know. He says like um like if like when you're talking about consciousness, like now if I said to you like um your unconscious mind, you'd be like, well maybe not you, you'd probably think other things, but people generally would think. That's oh, when you get punched and you're knocked out and, that, and it's like you're, you're just not hanging in. He says he said it's like see when you go into a shop and you go, uh, all right mate, you get a paper and a can of coke or something, you just put it down your sorry right, mate, it's happening. And you're like still going about your day, but you're just not engaging with your reality. Like autopilot. Aye, so autopilot. Like why when you're driving to your work and then Aye. like you get there and you're like, oh, I don't even remember driving Aye. here. Sort of thing. So he said that's your unconscious mind and that's like what he said like. To be human is to be away from that for as much as possible. So I think it was, it was like an be hour. in the present moment. Aye. Aye. That's and like, like try and spark shit. So like see how like when you done that to that guy, five on the hang Aye. and you're trying to spark an emotion. Aye, that I think that's what I'm doing. That's mate. like that's like that should be in me in touch with like Aye. what it is to be a human. And like when I was like saying that I'm with monkey pox, no, no, but like I've noticed shit. Like I I don't know if I've told you before. Like the time that I was like ordering food and I was like in Five Guys or something. And like I was, say I was like, now the show a number, mm -hmm. say I was 32, right? The, there was a lassie next to me who was like 31, right? Mm -hmm. And the guy went to go 30 and I thought he was going to say 32. So I had like locked and loaded my answer as, I mate, cheers. Aye. And like just walk away. But then he was 31. And then the lassie would done fucking yes, man, class, cheers, and took it. And the guy done, oh, there you go, no bother, have a good day like that. And it, he pure switched for being like Aye. autopilot to off to what's going on. she woke him up. Aye. Feel like, like, there you go, like that. Every and it, it's true, like you even the energy transferring for her to him, aye. and I was just gonna go, I mate, cheers, and aye. then it would just wouldn't have affected him. Aye, and he would have never remembered that, but aye. he might still sort of remember that if you mentioned it because he him. was engaged. it has been, and I suppose human. you want to remember as much as you can. Oh, no, fuck that. Get, you want to get blind drunk every day, <laughs> every day. So that that is the message of this podcast. <laughs> no, it's not what it's no, the message is um, be careful Do what you wish for. The message is we're doing away with countries, mm -hmm. governments, yep. religions, bastards, fake lines of oh this is Royston and now we're in the mm. look. We're calling it one thing. We're calling it Earth, baby boy. It's a beautiful Earth. You heard it here first. Maybe no first. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the word Earth here first. You heard that maybe that string of sentences together there for the first time ever. 
and you know we do need to come together people or uh, the robots are going to be pegging us for the for the rest of the day mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate sorry I know what we're pure wrap up we're on the wrap up so voice that that robot <laughs> pegging that kid no, I was going to up Joe I, I was going to say I read a mad thing like when I was researching all this shit I know read a mad thing it was like a study about like what would, have you ever heard the mad shit about like cockroaches can survive like a nuclear blast Aye, and shit? I heard about this the other day and it's like and rats and cockroaches can survive shit like that and it, I let they rats can I not well the rats rats, rats can uh, because where they are under the ground or where they can get to or something like or how many there is it was something but it was talking about like that means then when people say no, no I mean, it's cockroaches like, actually can live with a head for six weeks not like cockroaches are mental where are they getting an arban will it just grow back it grows back if again. there's been a nuclear well there's no like many cockroach <laughs> heat chops about no, <laughs> mate the actual a cockroach can live with a heat right you know the only reason it dies because it can't drink it can't take on water because it's no mouth but um, <laughs> it's a bit of a flaw but so like <laughs> I was like just thinking about like with the way we are gone pure like Oh, advancing, 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 advancing on If it just all goes bang, man, like, we fucked something. Like do you know what I mean? Something's button. fucked. Like, Chernobyl happened and shit. Do you know what mm. I mean? Shit fucks up. I'm not saying I'm a nuclear blast, but I just mean... Let's be honest, mate. We, even though we are called homo sapiens, we are pretty fucking dumb we are creatures. Dumb. We, and it maybe it is today with these primitive bits oh, of the eye and, like, all these. And plus, you've got to remember, when we took... When we... I mean, there's no a lot of Neanderthal or Dennis Oven in... Um, and us really it's like very small percents and it's only in the places where they lived right but the, when we interbred with them we took on some of their genes their, their, their habits their, do you know what I mean so but even homo sapiens still would have had like see if you think about like 50 year ago it was like maybe no 50 70 year ago it was all right to like slap women and all that like those humans are they, they named it, right? they they named it. I'm just saying you know how you were saying perfect things do you know what I mean like mm-hmm. we have still got that it, well, never never mind like 200,000 years ago like, like morally or like a hundred every... year ago like our morals were all fucked like I know do you know what I mean I know it but... was uh I think it was George Orwell right said that every generation thinks that they are more intelligent aye. than the people before them, but it's wiser like, than the people who come after them. Aye. So it's like... It's, 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 it's not right, like that, my generational amnesia thing. Aye, aye we were talking about that with aye. Lana, weren't we? Aye. aye. No, I don't think it was with Lana. Was it not? We were talking about talk people about... being able to see your scuddies and like databases. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was definitely on that one because we it? were saying like oh, um, maybe it was, aye. when you been able to work a phone. And aye, that, aye. Really aye. It's like you that. always think your generation like just got it right. They'll be aye. like, we are the, like if you talk about people that are your age, like you's a lip pure. I we like obviously we were younger, but it was me. Oh, you know I mean? How like do you know what? my papa? I was talking to my papa and he says something. He was like, it was always better back then. And I was like. Like when, like talk, like when he talked about and say he was talking about like the seventies. I mean, that's because you were twenty in the seventies. Uh, You're yeah. seventy five now. You know what I mean? Uh, like I that's why, because you enjoyed your life, man. Are you, are you scared about? Do you ever get scared about being the cunt that's like um, gone like that? Like now, now the way you say even like your dad or something, right? Will be like, how do I fucking get that on my phone or something, right? Even though they can work it, the we can fix things on it and that. Aye. Do you ever get worried about when we are the cunts that are like, eh, can you sort that? Hey, but I get like that with him. See some of his shit, like see on like VR and all that. I'm all, what way am I looking and all that? Like, and he's like, oh fuck, you fucked that. But and all that, or like maybe not that. Aye. But Aye. He, I can tell. Oh, there's a problem, man. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the naked woman? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the naked woman? <laughs> Where's the naked woman? <laughs> Uh, no, but I I can already see myself being a bit uh, like that. Like, see when I like see f- like playing games and that. Aye, put me on a PlayStation that I'm brand new. See if I need to go and work Steam and like do like uh, stuff on the PC and all that, like mouse and keyboard games and that shit. I'm oh, I don't know. I, I, FIFA 13 was good. Uh, right? I, I mean, call like, you, right? the world felt you. You can play for school. All your pals will be on it. That's uh, gonna be us in like 40 uh, years. Uh, <laughs> oh, these games are a lot of shit. Mate, do you know? I've been here for years. Mate, how funny is that? Anybody says. How funny is the Kevin Bridges joke? It's like. Your, your uncle when you invited your uncle around to play cod and he goes comes around with a fish and he's like ah, I think your old uncle didn't know how to play cod eh? <laughs> <laughs> how funny is that he's going hey I was a mess at cod but he slam his fucking wings with a fish <laughs> yeah, yeah. bye mate fucking I hope he's enjoyed that trips Jesus Johnny Macaroni a YouTube deep fried for a YouTube trips. deep fried we're back and they're not going away but remember 
if you like deep fried, you need to get involved with the Patreon. Deep fried Mars bars, deep fried sausages. And deep deep fried episodes of this podcast, so oh, it does more importantly that. Aye. And a lot less of the deep fried sausages. But aye troops, if you do want to get involved, there's an extra episode coming every month. There's one coming out the twenty seventh of June, I believe, oh. on the one we're talking about in this. Um, we're covering like alien two of the most famous alien abduction cases in fucking history, baby. I, I was pissed. <laughs> You, Jamie was Jamie was on it <laughs> during the deep fried. So if you want to see what that fucking looks like, head over there. But well, the they're still going to be on YouTube. Don't worry if you can't be asked with the Patreon. It's all good, baby. They're not they're not going anywhere. So the deep frieds will be coming on YouTube still. So don't worry about that. But if you want an extra one, fire over there. Everything's in the description. Um, and I man, beautiful stuff. Also, trips is the merch coming oh, very oh, very soon, very soon. Big things in the works. Big massive. Hanks. Big massive hoodies. Big ma- aye, for big massive people, mm-hmm. if you're a massive person. So what are you cared for? But troops, give us a give us a wee rating on Spotify if you're listening, if you're listening and you enjoyed this. You've been listening to a few of them, maybe you seen Young Spectacles uh, and Benny T turn and you up. and you I absolutely turn that up, man. So I man, if you um if you give us a wee five star on Spotify, that would be a lovely jubbly. We're actually doing no bad with that now, mate. That's, Aye, man, it's I'm sorry. Soaring. Modest, modest. It's a, it's a fair amount. Apple Music, nah, no. Also, if you made it oh, this aye. far, comment Haribo. I if you made it, no. Let's do a thing, like, because a lot of people won't watch the full video. So if you made it to the end of this. If you made it to the end of this, type in, like, the bit about the Haribos was so funny. Because there was <laughs> me a bit, and then everybody who didn't watch it was going to be like, what bit was that? I fucking think I missed that bit. So the more comments there is with that, the more people are going to be like, how am I missing this? And Aye. they're going to be... Make up your own punchlines. Like, know how people would comment, say the punchline for that was, like, Haribos, fuck's sake, something. And comment that with Hunter's Adid emojis. Aye. Like, Make it look real. <laughs> what we like to do is... Fool the people. Trick, um, trick the fake, the fakes. Fake it till you make it, baby. Mm-hmm. We'll see you on our side trips. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>